All right, so change of plans. We tried to go on the KRM. We, we tried to go on the KRL, but it didn't work because you need to have a specific letter saying that you're an essential worker. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you our hotel that we're staying at because we really love it. And we honestly think that it's probably one of the best hotels in Jakarta for the price that you're gonna pay. Right now during COVID, basically, and I think that generally the price is quite similar, but I mean, it's 600,000 rupiah per night, which is roughly $40. And I think that that price for a five-star hotel is really, really cheap. So we're going to be showing you around our hotel room, but also make sure you stay tuned until the very end of this video, because we're going to be showing you how you can get the chance to stay in a hotel like this for free. And it's not just one chance for one person. It's, it's not like a, it's not like a sweepstakes. It's like how any of you can stay at this hotel for free. been in this room now for about a week so sorry that it's a little bit messy the stuff is a little bit disorganized what should we show them first the dead fish the flopping flounder we've been traveling for a while now and before we get to the bathroom we often find it trouble because we've been we're basically traveling with our whole life in our suitcase we often find that we have trouble to store our stuff but we actually found that in this room you get a lot of storage space it's pretty standard you get an ironing board you get an iron and if you really want to cook your own food what you can do is you can cook with an iron um, and we'll link to a, some random video where they show you how to do that you can make like a grilled cheese sandwich, grilled cheese sandwich on, the iron, on the iron which we've been thinking about doing maybe let us know if we should do that these are our helmets we were flying from Lampung, they wouldn't let us bring the helmets on the plane so we had to in a bag. Which is really weird because we flew around Indonesia from like three different islands before that over the course of like six months of traveling with our helmets and nobody had a problem with it. Okay. So that's really strange. But anyways, whatever, we'll move on from that. Then you get this sweet ass umbrella now. I mean, come on, you can't tell me that this isn't like the greatest umbrella you've ever seen in your entire Look life. Look at how fancy it is. It's so fancy. It's like for city people. So if you're here in the wet season, this is a must have necessity because it rains a lot in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Next. We have this really cool surfboard that they put in the cupboard for us. Yeah, let's see. I haven't I haven't quite figured out how to ride it just yet, but I think put it on the ground and now you go in. Ariel! Ariel! Oh wipe out. This is actually an ironing board. It Which is, we don't use. We don't use. We use surfboards and that's why we think it's like a surfboard. But <laughs> if you're like a real adult and you're traveling on business, you could actually, you know, iron your clothes. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Our food drawer. So this, this is our favorite part. So this is like our pantry. And we went to this nice store the other day and we got a bunch of different stuff. An international Some grocery store, actually. Healthy fruits, our favorite drink. From Australia. From Australia, Bundaberg. Kim likes her cherry tomatoes. I love peanut butter, so I have my peanut butter, some sourdough bread, and some other assortments of snacks. And if you watched our other video, this is the coffee that we got that we haven't used yet because we don't have a coffee machine right now. Here's a little coffee area. But don't worry, if you're a coffee lover, we have a surprise for you and we'll show you later. But first, I want to show you our other drawer that we don't really oh. use. Oh no, we have no water. Oof. It's magic. Next, we have a little mini fridge and this fridge is surprisingly spacious. Last but not least, this is our cupboard area. We actually don't have that many clothes. So, um, but everything fits in here and you can see you can fit a ton more. And they have this yep. really good safe, which I guarantee you, you will never, ever need here. It, since living in Indonesia, I've never had anything stolen from me. And yeah. I used to live in a house that had no walls. I actually wish we had footage of that. So we, like Jory said, we literally did live in a house. It had two walls, like one wall in the back and one wall on the side. And then there was no wall in the front and no wall on the other side. So we basically just slept outside. But look how cool this flashlight is. Okay, are you ready? Oh, sick. Are you ready? Yep. This flashlight, when you stick it in here, it goes off. It goes off. And as soon as you pull it out, it, it goes on. on. And then also in this, you have an extra pillow. Wow. Which I know people love pillows, and these pillows are so comfy. Now, Kimi's gonna show you the bathroom. in the 
tell always because what's super special about this one is that there's dun dun dun, dun hot water in the shower. It sounds super, super basic to you, but for us it's a really big deal because where we were living in Grupok, Lombok, there was like salt water showers that were only cold. And we've been staying a lot of kind of more budget accommodation for surfers, surf hostels and stuff like that that only have cold waters. There's a toilet. Basic. Basic toilet. Basic toilet. We have this really beautiful vanity area that actually has a lot of like space to actually put out all of our stuff. There's some storage up here under the sink. We're able to really feel like we're at home by basically spreading out like not all of our stuff is hidden in the suitcase. Shower's really big, look we'll at hidden on each both sides. Cool, well basically the whole bathroom is just completely spotless. Everything in it is like flawless, absolutely perfect, no dirt, nothing. Is your sleep going there? Oh, it's so comfy. <sighs> So we've been traveling around for a few years now and honestly i have to say that this is the most comfortable bed i've ever slept in okay i want to give you guys a little bit of story time oh no so did you know that jordy sleepwalks and sleep talks i don't sleepwalk though jordy sleepwalks sometimes so let me tell you this great story so one time we were in the komodos and we were on a boat and we were there for like I'm a going back to sleep for about a week one of the nights jordy like wakes me up at two o'clock three o'clock in the morning deep i was in a deep sleep and he's like kim kim help me help me we have to get the hatch open so in the room we were staying in basically there was like a bed and then up top there was a hatch that you could push open and then climb through but there was also a normal door that you could you know, just open and use like a door. So Jordy wakes me up at two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, and he's like, Kim, Kim, help me open the hatch. Okay, and I'm like in the middle of a deep sleep, basically. I have no clue what's going on, so I don't ask too many questions. Okay, let me like help him open the hatch, whatever. He's like freaking out, needs me to open this. So I help him open the hatch and I'm holding it up and he climbs out of the hatch, like through the deck of the boat. Then he basically just for no reason climbs back down and comes around and comes in through the door and then goes back to sleep. So sometimes he does weird stuff like that. But when we sleep in very secure and comfy places, like here at the Hilton, he just sleeps through the night like a normal person and he doesn't make me open the hatch in the middle of the night. Again, but getting back to the bed, most comfiest bed you've ever slept in. Now, I don't know if the mattress, the mattress is any special, but this mattress protector uh... just makes all the difference because it adds like a whole extra layer of mattress on the mattress. And it's not just your thin sheet mattress protector. It's really nice and thick. So that makes it super, super comfy. You have these pillows and... Like, again, the most comfortable pillows ever and super, super And just super sheets. clean, too. Like, they all feel fresh and clean. This is, like, cleaner than Kim's house in America. Lastly, you have this light, light system. You have the masters right next to the one side of the bed, and that switches off all the lights in the room. Then you also have the reading light if you wanted to just switch on the lights to read. And then you also have these options with the night light. And what we like to do actually is turn off all the lights except for the night light and then leave the windows open at night because you get the beautiful city lights and the city view. Lastly, we have this really nice alarm clock that comes with the room. And so what you can do is you can either connect to your phone via Bluetooth, connect it via port here, or charge your phone or connect it via USB. And you can play music. It gives you the temperature of the room and tells you the time. And if you don't want to wake up to your phone or if you want to put your phone off while you sleep, you have this as an alarm clock to be able to set. Now, if I'm feeling hungry or if I want to get any food, all I do is I pick up the phone and I dial Careline. Or I can dial our room service and within two seconds, I'm able to order a really nice meal for myself. Uh, so we don't actually normally order room service so much as we order Grab or Gojack. So then we can basically get local food and they deliver it right to the hotel. We can do a separate section on this. So this is our little living room which is just awesome to have a living room. A lot of the places we've been staying are just like a bedroom. We, because we work and do so much at home, we end up doing all of our work like in bed on top of each other all the time. So here we actually have a whole separate area where we can watch some TV on our computers, do work, eat our meals. Didn't see you there. So here 
is a little desk workspace where we're able to plug in our computers, charge all of our extensive collection of electronics. Basically, I'm able to do video calls at night for my job. Jordy's able to edit videos during the day. So this is really great to have a dedicated desk space. So we have many plug points here. First, we actually have an ethernet cable, which is one of the items we ordered on Tokopedia. Next, we have two different um, connections. And here's something really amazing. This is an American style plug and it's <laughs> And it actually works here because normally I have to use this really big converter which converts the Indonesian style plug to the US plugs but here these are international outlets so basically we can charge everything without having to plug it on all through here. And then there's also USB chargers and on the left left where my finger is right now you also have an HDMI cable which connects to the TV. So the final item here are desk drawer space. What's also really cool about these, silent close technology. As you may already know, I work really late at night until like two o'clock in the morning sometimes. It's very important that we are able to sleep in in the morning. Here we have the blackout curtains. Good morning, Jakarta. One of the other things that I really love about this hotel is the proximity of the bed to the TV. When I want to wind down and have a break, I really love getting all comfy and cozy in the bed and watching a bit of TV. And here at the Hilton, they offer 64 different channels that include sports, music channels, movie channels, Discovery, National Geographic, uh, sitcom channels, news channels, pretty much everything you need to watch as much as you want from the comfort of your own bed. And the last coolest thing is that we have our own air conditioning in our room that we are able to control. So we can set it as hot or as cold as we would like. are down at the pool level right now and we're gonna show you guys around the pool. We would show you the gym which is in there and it looks so nice but unfortunately it's still closed because of the PPKM restrictions. Here at the pool, it's really nice because you have a whole bunch of different places to sit. And it's really nice because the pool's made in such a way that it runs around these corners. So like if you go and you sit at one part of the pool, especially if you go far in a corner, you can feel like even though there's a whole bunch of other people around you, you can feel like you're totally alone. We're not totally alone. But you can feel like that if you go and find the right place and right part of this pool. By the way, something I just remembered that's really cool is that this hotel actually has rooms that are like fitness rooms. So they have like a bike machine and exercise classes and yoga mat and yoga ball and all of that inside the room. So you can pay a little bit extra and get the exercise room. Okay, so there's also a restaurant down here, um, but it's closed for any indoor dining.
Also, if you want to get a free stay here at the Hilton or at any Hilton around the world for that matter, what you need to do is you need to go online to Hilton.com and enroll as a member. Membership is the lowest tier of being a Hilton Honors member. From that, you can become a silver member, then a gold member, and then a platinum member. I am a silver member. My mom actually is a gold member. The way she became a gold member was by getting a credit card. Like basically, if you're an American, you can just apply for a credit card. If you have like a decent credit score or whatever, you can get a credit card through Hilton. And with that, you're going to get at least 200,000 bonus points. To give you perspective on that, one night stay here is 13,000 points at the Hilton. So if you get 200,000 points, you can basically live at the Hilton for like two months. So basically to get a free night stay here, you could either become a member and get points via a credit card, or you can become a member and then each time you stay here, you will get a certain amount of points based on how many nights you stay. So say if you stay for five nights, you might be able to get enough points then, like 13,000 points, in order to get a free night stay the next time you come to the Hilton. All right, and one more cool thing that we wanted to wait until dinner time to show you is that you can actually get food delivered via Grab to the basement of the hotel. But instead, I almost got stuck in the elevator. What oh, did you no, do? I don't know, I guess. I thought I was trying to walk out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just have to go down two sets of elevators. Guess what we got for Guess dinner? Guess what we got for dinner? Sorry, it's not Indonesian food. It's not, sorry. We, we, we splurged. It comes from the east coast of the country and it doesn't originate there, but it's the very popular there. there. It's very popular. What this is, is what we got. Do you know what it is? This is how the pizza falls and we don't have dinner. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of impressed. Wow. Oh my god. And that took us all of two minutes? Two minutes? Three minutes? Three minutes. And we're back in the safety of our home. So ultimately, that's the reason that this is our favorite hotel in Jakarta. Or probably in all of Indonesia. Basically, it feels like home. Pizza. Wait, say it again. Do you know what else is a nice feeling? Eating pizza. Rum, 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 rum. Ah. I could probably eat one of these pieces. Yeah, I think we'll eat like one mm. and a half each or two. And that's going to be the end of today's vlog. If you liked this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. It really helps our channel grow. And it also really helps us bring you more content and helps us keep being able to live our dream.